What is up, everybody? Alex106 here. Super stoked to be talking about the Ableton Push 3. Um, I, found about, I found out about this just a couple of days ago. Bought one. It's here already. That is super cool. And um, yeah, tons of videos already from people showing everything about it. Um, but one thing missing is uh, clocking your Eurorack, right? That's always missing. So I'm just going to come out and say right away, CV tools clocking, it works. It's a thing. You can do it. If that's what you wanted to know, you're welcome. I'll see you later. Uh, but yeah, super excited that CV tools, uh, Max for Live, you know, that works in here. Um, so I'm going to go over here. I'm going to show you how I set it up. If I go into clock, this is my clock channel right here. You're probably not going to be able to see this very well because um, I'm not super zoomed in. However, I'm just going to tell you, you cannot change the outputs from the panel. So that's something I had to do in the DAW. So in Ableton on my computer, I already had a live set that I've played once or twice um, and it uses CV Tools Clock. So I just took that, transferred it over into this and um, it didn't work right away because I didn't have the clock uh, channel set. So I had to go back in Ableton, save it again, and then recall it on here with the channel set to five and six because I'm using the expression pedal output here to do the CV uh, clocking. That's a really cool handy thing. So what I've got doing that is I've got this little Hosa Y connector that's just going into a headphone adapter and then that's going into the pedal expressions input slash CV output. Um, really clever that they did it that way. And basically all you gotta do to make sure that's on is hit settings, go into uh, pedals and CV, and make sure pedal and CV is set to CV out. And you can do that one and two. There's two outputs, which means there's four total outputs. So that's pretty cool. But like I said, you set that to CV out, Go back to your clock, CV tools will work. So just to show you real quick, we're going to go over here. I'm just gonna press play on a blank scene. This is my modular, it's getting played. Super cool. So yeah, I'm really excited that CV tools works. Um, the the one reason or one of the reasons I was really excited to buy this thing and just, you know, jumped at it was when I play more of my housey sets, I like to have like my anchors set up over here. So maybe songs I've recorded or like songs I'm working on. And then I like to do more like experimental and also just tracks I'm working on over here, stuff that I haven't recorded yet. So this is going to be like all new stuff, right? So this is like one of the tracks I'm working on over here. And the idea is to be able to mix in. Ooh, there we go. Take out that kick. And slowly drag these guys out. And I'm mixing in to a track that I recently released called Spruce. Right, so now we're modular free, we're only listening to the push. And I can kind of go through here and perform this a little bit. Oh, whoops, I uh, stopped it on the group because I didn't have that set up the way I normally do. However, here's the rest of it. And by rest, I mean the track I was trying to play. Right, so I can just kind of like mute the kick and stuff. All that's really fun. So anyways, that's pretty much it. Like that's that's what I wanted to do. I will say if you are monitoring through the push, you will get a little bit of latency. Um, it may not be enough to bother you. It kind of is enough to bother me. Um, even with my uh, audio buffer size super low. So now it's at 128. But what I'm doing is I'm running the outputs of push three going into the mix in on my performance mixer and then mixing that signal with these. So just to show you what I mean, I am gonna set it up the other way and show you the latency, but to sh let, let's just do uh, this one as an example first. So we'll just do these drums. Stop these guys. Sounds pretty good together, right? Maybe a tiny bit of phasing.
One's probably a little louder. I need to work on my gain staging there, you know? But like, if we're just jamming this, we take these drums out, put in these drums. Sounds pretty good. Put these drums back in on top. So that's pretty good. Let's show you the other way. All right, so now what we're doing is we are monitoring through push. So you can see these red cables here. I've got the modular coming out through push and then out of push into the uh, master output that you're hearing. And we will hear a little bit of the difference. So right now my buffer size, I'm at 128. And let's just do those drums again. I'm gonna lock this guy, lock all those, turn all that stuff off. Just the drums, now here's my drums on top. Ready? Bring like the bass line in maybe. Check these drums out. Not terrible when they're not in there, but you can still kind of hear it. So yeah, that's that latency I'm talking about. I'm gonna go change the buffer size all the way to 32. Start it up again. I think it's better. Let's take that bass out. Just do kicks. Let's uh, turn the click down on this guy. Like I, you know. So something that I hope that they will implement unless they already have and I just don't know about it is track delay be really nice to be able to like do a negative delay on the modular side everything else kind of has to wait for it um but you know there's other ways to get around this you can clock externally or you can just do the mixing thing i showed in the beginning um totally easy workarounds both ways but the exciting part is cv tools works another thing you can do is load a sample into uh one channel and the other so if you're having any sort of like double trigger issues or any sort of weird stuff like that it might be worth trying running a sample into here, um, you know, instead of CV tools. But as of now, it works and it works well enough and I'm really excited about that. So thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Gonna be doing tons more videos, hopefully with the push and Eurorack together. But yeah, I will see you all next time. Peace.